On Friday, June 8th, Burn Burden Academy held the school's 185th commencement exercises at the Freeling Housing Field above and behind the school. It was the first time since 2012 that the graduation ceremonies had been held at the school, and Clement Weather had forced the ceremonies to be held at the Riley Rink at Hunter Park every year since then. Ceremonies began with the 152 members of the graduating class of 2018 processing up the hill one last time as seniors as the school's faculty applauded. When they reached the field, they marched down the center aisle, taking their places in the front rows to hear a succession of speakers praise their efforts to date and encourage them to take it to the next level from here. We have three individual state champions in track and field and four seniors are among those selected to the second annual... Region. The salutatorian address was given by Tobias Lepecki. As we transition into adulthood, and as terrifying a fact as that is, <laughs> I believe that we should start employing the mindset of being educators. So in this speech, I want to illustrate how each of us can educate and the enable the education of those around us by thanking one person. Hi, Mom. Where, where are you? Anywhere? No? She's, she's here, I'm sure. There she is. And part of the reason I have tried so hard to make the most out of my education is that my mom has sacrificed everything for me to get one. And I will not waste it. And so to synthesize what I'm trying to say, I have essentially two points. The first point is that we really don't pay teachers enough. And the second point is, is that you don't have to be a mom, you don't have to be a parent, you don't have to be older or wiser than the other person, but if you can find someone, anyone, that you care enough about to support them as much as my mom did me, then I know not only will you all be successful, because, come on, I, I know you're going to be successful, but you will make the people around you successful, and you will make my mom proud. Then it was the turn of Tyler Yeager, the class valedictorian. This year, for the first time in American history, students born in the 21st century, in 2000, are graduating. We have known no other world than one with the song All Star by Smash Mouth in it, <coughs> one in the shadow of 9-11, one where social media is a given rather than a new toy, one where the United States has always been at war. We are the natives of a century for which our parents are the immigrants. It is our world, and perhaps because of that, there's been something in the air in 2018. We are the generation that can organize a national march in just five weeks. We are a generation that knows the rules and knows when to break them. Nobody wants to talk about failure at graduation, but unless you are very, very lucky, you are going to fail sometime in the future, sometime soon. You are going to know how much it hurts to let yourself and others down. But failure hurts because success is safe. It's easy to stay award-winning in an environment you are comfortable with, but that kind of success won't ever last. It is the unknown and untapped that may not like what we have to offer, even when it is our best. And that is why we must go there. That is why we must approach the risk of failure confidently, early, and often. We must speak with our own words and do it for something greater than ourselves. We will do it with plenty of failure, but just as I now have a driver's license and am moving on, our failure only makes every effort afterwards stronger. We may stand on the shoulders of giants, but we will reach further than ever before. The faculty address was given by associate head of school Meg Kenny, who mixed several <laughs> musical selections into her talk to drive home her main points. On this beautiful June evening, I honor all of you, the class of 2018. We listen and develop an inner compass. For that, you must take time with yourself and pay attention to your intuition. Becoming who you are meant to be is a process, one that will take you three steps forward and two steps back. What is your purpose? How will you find it? It's actually more a series of revelations, more an uncovering than a discovery. The main commencement address was given by Rebecca Holcomb, who until recently was the Vermont's Secretary of Education. 
Your engagement in civic and political life is much more important than ever. It really is. Our problems are eminently solvable, but they are only solvable with the kind of broad and representative engagement that you have shown this year. And they are only solvable when we value inclusive and supportive communities. And that's why your high school years and how you've arrived at this point are so incredibly important. Not only has Burn Burton taught you the skills you need to act in the world, but it's also given you a chance to explore what it means to contribute and be an active member of a community. Then it was on to the main event, handing out the diplomas. Cassandra A. Glover. Cody J. Goebel. Margo Grace Scropshi. Dale F. Graves III. Georgia S. Lord. Grace Emerald McFadden. Congratulations. After that, school headmaster Mark Tashin gave a final class dismissed to the waiting graduates who were recessed into their new status as alumni. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.